The other day I was on Instagram and I saw this post about uh, supplements didn't come around until vegans. And I'm like, wh what, what are you? Like, uh, what are you thinking? Like, I I'm so sick of seeing this. And it's not just because it's like against vegans and I've been vegan for a while. It's just the division of this whole thing. Now, do I think that we need meat to survive? No, I don't at all. And you know, in there, I'm scrolling through the supplements, scrolling or like the talking of supplements and all vegans are gone and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, have you seen me? Like, have you seen this exhibit A here? I'm not gaunt at all. I get called fat in every single one of my videos. So it's it doesn't really mean anything, right? So it, it's just, it's stupid to me. And some of the stuff that it was listing off most of what it was listing off is actually from plants. The supplements that people take are from plants. <laughs> like, plants. Let's get it from the original source. It's ridiculous. It's crazy to me to, 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 to read this kind of stuff because A, it's just so much division. It's so much division. Once everybody kind of gets comfortable with like, all right, we got carnivore over here. We got the keto camp over here. We got, I think paleo's dead now. So we need to, we need to change things up. Let's, um, you're an idiot if you don't do intermittent fasting now. All right, let's push that agenda. And then that agenda gets pushed out there by all these big channels. They get that money forked over to them and they start pushing this over here. And you know, the, and then meanwhile, supplements have been around for a very long time. Actually, su supplements used to be given by doctors. They were known as medicine. Until, until the AMA came around. But before that, they used to be known as medicine. People took them just to cure something or because they were kind of deficient in something, right? I don't take anything except for vitamin D, you know, because the sun doesn't know how to come out anymore because whatever's going on with the clouds. And so I looked this up. So food, it, it, you, I've looked this up in, in the Bible, how many times food is mentioned. There's various different things. It looks like it's 1,200 times. Grains, fruit, meat, honey, milk, butter, cheese, broth, and flour. So grain actually is mentioned the most. So by far, grain is mentioned the most. Depending on who you really listen to or what you've actually looked into, it seems like during the lost years of Jesus, he was down in India, the grain that he would have encounter there was rice the grain he encountered in the middle east was a flour you know the wheat doesn't really matter fruit is mentioned meat is mentioned grains are mentioned those are like the main three those are the pillars so it's not exactly like and really if you look at that that's high carb right there's a little bit of meat and there's a lot of carbohydrates there's a lot of fruit mentioned and it really if you look at when they talk about different meals that they had, it's mostly carbohydrates because meat would have been extremely expensive back then. Extremely expensive back then. It's been expensive comparatively to the other macronutrients. And actually it's expensive now again. You know, I haven't bought it in a really long time, but my dad was telling me about how much this stuff costs him. And I'm like, my goodness, that is insane. That's insane how much this stuff costs. The supplement thing is, is has no relevance to what diet you're actually on. It has no relevance to which diet you've chosen. Now, do I like I think I've said it earlier? Do I think that you need animals to live? No, not at all. I don't think it at all. I have been not having animals for 14 years now. I've survived. I get called fat in every video that I make. So clearly, it has given me enough padding. <laughs> To survive, to survive, you know, like I've, I've survived the, the famine of eating uh, vegan, you know, like the gauntness, it's, it hasn't visited me yet. I, it's, it's crazy. So really, I, and like, again, back to the Bible, Jesus says, don't concern yourself with what you eat. Another thing, they're not sending cryovac beef up to uh, at this Mars thing is real. I have no idea. But if it is, they're sending potatoes you can literally a potato literally has everything you need to survive other than vitamin d3 which you get from the sun you know, I, you know people are talking about well i only get uh vitamin d3 from uh, my uh from uh eating beef 
Okay, that makes sense. Or you could just go out in the sun. Make it make sense. Make all of this make sense. Now, I, I'm not really fighting. I'm not really advocating for any one group. I really don't see the point in doing the eating meat at all. It clogs the, uh, the arteries, it, the cholesterol issues, the fact that you know all these animals are dying, the fact that there is just so much more space used to make you know had to have animal agriculture that could be used for like potatoes or whatever i mean so many people like uh, my example i'm irish my people in ireland were starving yet they made a lot of food and it was all going to the english if that weren't happening if you know because a lot of the animal the meat and everything was going to the english if people were just fine with not living high off the hog and they were just eating what grew out of the dirt, nobody in Ireland would have been starving, nobody in England would have been starving. In Africa right now, a lot of the grain and everything that's grown that could feed these people is going to the animal agriculture. People just don't even think about this. They don't care, right? This as long as they're it, just as long as they're, you know, eating or whatever. And really, if you think about the, the one of the most common things that you see with like these barbecue masters is they're extremely overweight. They're extremely overweight. They, you know, they're even bigger than me. Like when I go around these people, because some of my family is really into, uh, you know, into this. Nobody in my family was fat back in the day. Now everybody seems to be overweight. And I'm like, what the hell happened? So I don't really even know if it's the diet or the fact that like when my family, I haven't gone to Europe. When my family goes to Europe, they go for extended periods of time because they have monopoly money. And it's just, they go for these extended periods of time and they lose weight when they come back. And everybody's gonna be like, well, they were walking more and blah, 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 they were walking. I have the laziest people in the world in my family. I went to the zoo one time and I know I've told this story. These people that I went with got a golf cart to go around the zoo. I'm like, what is wrong with you? It's not even that big of a zoo. We're like, well, I don't want to walk that much. And I'm like, I guarantee these are some of the people that go over to, to, to Europe. And when they come back, they're like a lot lighter. I guarantee they're just as lazy over there as they are here. I guarantee it. So no, I didn't want that argument. These arguments are ridiculous. There's the other thing is... There was this guy that was talking about going over Japan because Japan still to this day has by far the lowest obesity rate. And when he was talking to the, like he was talking to school children and everything, he was watching what they were eating. One of them's favorite food was seaweed. One of them's favorite food was broccoli. And one of them's favorite food was white rice. This was their favorite food, not Cheetos with like toxic dust poured all over them. And I'm spitting everywhere. And in all this, ter they're ve it's a vegan meal that they're eating and they blow us away as far as intelligence goes. I mean, just the, it's, think about this. They, like even think about, I know people have gotten upset when I've mentioned this in the past, but think about the wars of the Westerners against the East. It has not gone that well. If we did not have what we did in 1945 dropped. I don't know that we would have made that out, out of that one. And they are so much smaller than we are, but they're so much more just agile and intelligent. And they're eating rice. We used to call Japanese cars rice burners because they were so much better a fuel economy than our cars were. And they still are. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the, 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 my argument to this whole thing, my, my what I'm saying to this whole thing is, yes, I'm not for animals getting murdered, you know, hung up on lines and just being decapitated as they go across this line. That is ridiculous. If you run a farm and your animal dies and it's not going to harm you and you want to slaughter it, I don't, I got no issues, right? You know, like it's dead. Do what you want. That's not what's happening nowadays. It's this mass line of murder and all of that adrenal, you know, stuff that's going on that that moment of being murdered. You're eating this. It, it can't be good for you. 
If you look at the people who are eating keto and carnivore in my comment section, they are so aggressive. I'm like, you are a ver very good reason on why I wouldn't want to eat the way you're eating. Look at how aggressive you are. It's crazy. It's crazy to watch. They're like their own anti-advocate. This all came from, <clears throat> I should have saved the post. I didn't know I was going to make a video about this, but I'm out, I went for a walk and I'm thinking about that post and I'm like, this is ridiculous. It's more division. It's just more division. It's, there's so much division across the entire world these days, and it's just another form of division. As soon as we kind of all get comfortable with like, yeah, you're this one, you're this, whatever, then a new one comes out, and then we're at war against that one, or whatever it is. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm not saying that I'm ever going to go back to that way of eating, because actually, I was out there, I, I was out outside sitting because I like to sit and look at the stars at night. I am living in a city, so I mean, that's, that's kind of a joke. You don't really see the stars, but it, look at the sky, I guess. And I was thinking, back in, the, back in the day when I lived in my parents' house, every single Sunday, I would have dinner with my parents up until I left. And every single Sunday, my dad couldn't wait to smoke or grill or whatever meat. And I remember every time... After I would eat, I would get ex like really bad water retention. I couldn't figure it out. Because on Sundays, I always made sure that I went to the gym on Sundays. It was like my, I don't know. It was just like my thing. I went to the, I always made sure that I went to the gym on Sundays. And I would usually go before dinner because that way, you know, you get the protein in. And I would be fine. I wouldn't have any water retention. I would feel great actually. And then I would have whatever he made, and then I would immediately get water retention. And really, if I think about it, I had a lot of water retention, even more than I've got now, back in the day when I ate meat. And now, kind of funny, I'm sure he doesn't really want me talking about this, but my father has a kidney stone that they can't figure out if he's going to pass or not, but he had another one, and they tested it. It did come out. <laughs> and it was excess nitrogen excess protein. I don't want to deal with that. I've already dealt with kidneys. So, so maybe this is just a kidney thing that we inherit in my family. I don't know, but I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just not going to go back to that, nor it smells terrible. You can smell people who eat this stuff. I don't really want anything to do with it, but I'm also not going to go after people. Like when I first started this channel, I was into this whole durian rider thing, go attack people. It's just so boring to me i you know like I, i've had some people attacking my channel lately i don't respond that's just your thing do what you gotta do i mean people people act like there was never dentists before vegans came around they act like there was never supplements before vegans came around they act like anorexia didn't exist before vegans came around they act like fat people didn't exist before vegan came around they act like a lot of things and now there was another post that i saw in the same thing in 1980 the consumption of red meat has guy dived like it's completely fallen off the face of the earth but so has sugar consumption what has increased is the fake sugars out there and all of this processed trash <laughs> i mean Really, if you took out the middle aisles for the most part in the stores, we don't need any of that stuff. I mean, I'm sure you get your like, if you have bottled water or whatever, you got that in there. I'm, you know, a ketchup freak and I like condiments and stuff like that. You got that in the middle section, but other than that, I'm like jelly. <laughs> I mean, think about how much stuff is in that middle section that you don't need at all. You know, it, <laughs> that, is what has skyrocketed <laughs> like if we had a, a chart maybe i'll find one i don't know maybe we'll see it, but i have posted this that since 1980 sugar consumption has gone so down and it was replaced with artificial sweeteners i don't doubt that beef has gone way down too and Part of the reason is, is these oils that, that, that they're, they're like engine oils that people are eating, like the canola oil, the different vegetable oils, the seed oils. This stuff was given originally to fatten up um, livestock, and it was making them so fat 
that they couldn't be fed this stuff anymore, but they had like these huge contracts with these companies to do this. So we're like, well, what are we going to do with this stuff? Oh, we'll market it as health food to these, you know, to the sheeple over here. The, the, I mean, I would, if, if it were me, and if I was just, if I didn't care about any of this stuff, I would much rather have my fries fried in beef tallow than whatever it is that they're using these days. I, I mean, I, I, growing up, I was the fat person. I was like seven or eight pounds overweight. Now, it's like 75 or 80% of people are overweight. There is more going on to this than just what diet style you, you like to eat. And the, the carnivore thing, granted, has seemingly helped a lot of people, but it's just because it's an elimination diet. The vegan thing has helped a lot of people, unless you're one of these people who's trying to live off broccoli juice and, you know, you know or like the guy that was living off his urine. I don't want any part of that. Like, I, that's not my tribes. It's an elimination diet. It's an elimination of the processed food. Now, of course, you can be so processed on vegan because a lot of this junk food is vegan. You can be so, and, and so that is, that is the number one thing here. People don't tell, tell you what they're eating. You know, Durian Ryder and a couple of other the bigger people have, have you know, said, I, I don't know why you're still overweight. And I said, I'll give you my address. You can stop over any day, unannounced. And you're going to find out what I'm eating. Anyway, this is all off a supplement thing. But really, it has gotten to the point of ridiculous. We're all fighting over the same thing, really. It's a restricting uh, or restrictive diet is what we're all fighting over. You are have your restrictive diet. I have my restrictive diet. The non-restrictive diet is called the sad diet, bridge the gap or something. I don't know. I just, I'm not going to go back to that, especially after seeing my father have passed the kidney stone, having another kidney stone. And the first one was tested. It was pure nitrogen. I'm not doing that. <sighs> That's it. That's it. And he's actually not that big of a meat eater. I actually used to make fun of him because he would come home and he wouldn't eat meat all day and he would have like these portobello mushrooms as, as like burgers and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Where are you going get, to get in your protein? And now the guy's got stones of protein coming out of him. I don't want that life. Anyway, the supplement thing. I don't take any supplements. Here's the exhibit. I didn't need them. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not taking them anyway. I learned magnesium. I think everybody needs to take magnesium. My dad, speaking of my dad, he actually grows a garden. And even his soil, he, he had it sampled last fall, was so low in magnesium, it wasn't even funny. They said it, would, it, would, it was going to cost him so much money to get the amount of magnesium that he needs in the soil. And the food grows just fine and tastes fine. So... This is probably a lot of us, like we're eating these foods and it tastes fine, but it is really low in magnesium. So magnesium, I would really say, I think I, I think I linked the one I, I have a like down below. Um, B12, if, like I've tested, I'm always like a 500. I, that's good enough for me. I mean, I wouldn't mind it a little higher, but my hemoglobin's extremely high. So I really, that's a fine line for me. Uh, vitamin D3, just because the sun doesn't know how to peek through the clouds, whatever these clouds are anymore. And that's really it. Oh, K2. But that's only because I'm taking the magnesium and the vitamin D3. And I, I can't even tell you the last time I remember to take B12. I have it upstairs. But my hemoglobin is so high that I do run the risk of that causing issue. And... It's just not worth it for me. So when it stays at a 500, I'm good. And one of the things is, man, I've really rambled. But one of the things is, is I don't wash produce. Because I get a lot of it from sources that I know, like farmer's markets and stuff. And, you know, so I don't wash potatoes and I don't wash a couple other things. And that very likely could be why my B12 is fine because you're not getting B12 from animals. You're getting B12 from the bacteria in the lining of their colon in the animals. I'd rather just get the bacteria from the dirt that's on my potatoes than the colon of an animal. Oh, 
this video has been kind of all over the place, but it's the vision, man. It's the vision. That's 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 why they do this shit. It's to divide us even further. We're always fighting about something. It's ridiculous. I think that's it. I think that's it. Anyway, comments I'm sure are gonna be golden. Uh, down below. Got any questions? I don't know. Ask it, whatever. Like, subscribe. You might want to share this, might not. I don't know. But, ah, man. I mean, everybody's so angry, too. It's like, the comments are so angry. Oh, it's like, like oh, yeah, well, you're, you're like this. And, oh, yeah, well, it's like, fun, like. Anyways, uh, I think I've said enough. But that's the video. Talk to you in the next one. Thank you.